What is going on everybody? How we doing? Hey, uh, got the old skag cleaned up. Got her ready to rock and roll. Not going to be cutting a lot of yards today. Probably two. Boy, I'll tell you what. We had rain all day yesterday. All last night. These yards are a mess. So, I'm doing what I can still have not gotten every yard cut once for the season i still have 25 left to cut for the first time um just gotta wait man the weather is horrible we're having horrible weather uh mulch crews are having a hard time getting mulch down i i would like to tell you i didn't have a stressful moment but today i blew my top i'm just tired of the rain but uh y'all know how i feel i talked to a lot of you guys over the last couple days you're having the same problem i am you know uh big mo called me this morning he said you know i didn't realize that columbus ohio was ranked number one in rainfall every year so there that tells you what we we deal with on a daily basis anyway guys here's the yard i'm cutting now i'm not going to record it but uh i'm only going to cut the front and that spot right back there because the side over here is underwater so uh let me get this cut and i'll see you at the next one all right guys so there's an after view of the place looks pretty good backyard back there and mulch is coming up on this one so the mulch jobs are pouring in finally and uh hey let's get over to the next one and get that cut it's going to be a lot of swamp i'll see you in a minute Okay, guys I got to show you um, the ground here you can hear that and this is what we're dealing with in most of the yards is standing water so I'm gonna try to cut some of the back I don't know how much I know I can't cut any of this side I mean this is what we got going on this is how wet these yards are oops yeah this is all soaked here I mean you can don't want to put a mower on that so we'll we'll cut some of this and I'll see you in a minute
Okay, so we're going to do a lot, a lot, a lot of trimming. This is, whoa, what a mess, man. Hope you guys don't have it this bad where you're at. Okay guys, so uh, this is going to give you a little bit better understanding of what we're dealing with. I will show you. You can see. But as we go up here, there's no doubt you can see that this can cause you uh, several different feelings. One is a rage inside of you because you can't get out and mow this um, a helpless feeling that is if you remember last year's video when I got the uh, v-ride stuck that right there is where I got it stuck right in that little rut and Tim had to pull me out from the other yard so yeah you can kind of see why and it doesn't matter what mower you use it's a muddy mess so, uh, not really much to say. Um, you're definitely not going to learn anything from this video. Other than the fact that uh, you need to learn how to control your temper, Shane. I mean, uh, Doc. And um, don't let it get to you because we're all in the same boat together up here in the north. And I truly had no idea that uh, Columbus was one of the wettest cities in America. But now that I know, it kind of makes sense. Um, let me show you the... Well, I'll show you. Here's where I had to turn around in the front yard so you can see the mud tracks. And there's what the front yard looks like. So not bad. I'm not happy I'm not happy but uh, like I said the other day what am I gonna do I can complain all day it's not gonna change anything we're on the same boat up here I uh, picked up that last house we're gonna do the mulch next Tuesday and uh, spoke with my buddy Nick the guy doing it for me and he said, how's mowing going uh, for you? I said, this is the worst March and April in the history of my business. And he said, yep, same here. He said, I couldn't get my mower on, and I believe he said he got 40 out of 150 properties mowed. And uh, that's about where we're at, guys. Just not good, not good. So we're not making any money. Uh, we spend more in gas going out than we do with what we're making. So, just one of those things. You just got to roll with it. That's why I say, that's why I said the other day, man, if you can handle it and you can put yourself through it and you can deal with it, you're going to come out on top. Now, next week looks great. 
so we will probably have I would say we'll get everything mowed once I picked up a new one today and uh, customer liked the price it's right in uh, my Tuesday route right next to one of my existing customers so yeah, I don't know man it's one of them, one of them weeks I don't want to complain too much because hey had my x-ray yesterday on my hip doctor said I am perfectly okay to keep doing my exercising so I'm happy about that and uh, we got wind going on today as you can probably hear which means it's going to dry these yards out and tomorrow I think I've got maybe four that I could really do that's about it and then we have work on Saturday and then it's Easter so let's just do what we can until Monday and uh, make that make next week the best week we can make it hopefully get hopefully get uh, all of the yards in all of them and that'll be good because I've got uh, 46 now that I need to get done so if I can get them all done that's great guys hope you enjoyed it uh, not much to tell you but uh, got the mower cleaned and uh, got it dirty again. But not bad for a three-year-old machine. And uh, it's running great. So, hey, y'all have a great day. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. Take care of yourselves. And we'll see you guys. Peace.